this is uh, the engine compartment of a 1968 Chevy Camaro. Really nice guy, hugger orange, white uh, stripes on it, cowl induction hood. Uh, 010 Chevy uh, block in it, uh, so at least it started life as a 350 from what we can tell. Uh, it has a set of really nice uh, aftermarket GM valve pan covers on it and a Chevrolet designated uh, intake um, system on it. Looks like a K&N filter too, I'm not really sure, but it is. It's on a Team G aluminum intake manifold, Carter AFB uh, Edelbrock uh, carburetor. It does have a uh, choke system on it also, a set of uh, high temp coated long tube headers on it, high temp silicone plug wires on it, <coughs> uh, power steering, power disc brakes, new uh, master cylinder on it, and a new uh, booster on it also. The uh, call tag is nice and legible when it's on the uh, firewall. Devin's going to give you some good uh, high resolution pictures of that. Uh, it has Heat hooked up to the passenger compartment, so it is a functional uh, heater and uh, defrost system on this car in case it goes to our uh, northern states. It has a, it feels like a five blade uh, fan on it, uh, not a clutch fan. Correct style uh, shroud that goes with the, uh, <coughs> the car when it was new. It does have a, I'm going to call it three or maybe possibly a four pass aluminum. Uh, high capacity radiator on it also. The inner fender wells are painted semi-flat black just the way they should be. It appears to have new uh, uh, steering lines on it. Uh, I don't see any leaks evident whatsoever on the uh, front of the engine or the valve pan covers or intake system. There's absolutely nothing there. The belts feel to be fairly new. Uh, looks like Donnie did put a brand new battery in it for us and a shutoff too. We're going to start putting these shutoffs on all the vehicles here something that we really need to do. Core support doesn't appear to have been ever uh, um, disrupted in any way. It's a really nice clean engine compartment. It's a 350 Chevy. At least that's what we're assuming it is. You know, without getting into the internals of the engine, it, just because it's an 010 block, it could be a 302, a 327, a 350, uh, a 383. I mean, who knows? There's so many stroker kits for these things now but at least it did start life at this point as a 350 Chevy engine. Um, great engine compartment, lots of horsepower, more than adequate to push this little guy down the road, and we're gonna go around the rest of it for you. Okay, our presentation today is on a 1968 uh, Camaro, Hugger Orange White Stripes, one of my favorite color combinations on these cars, really a great dramatic uh, uh, color combo on it. Um, look at the fit on this thing, the whole way across the header panel, fender and the hood on this side and the paint you can see the stripes but you can't feel them there's a lot of clear on this this is not a driver quality paint job it certainly surpasses that of a driver quality car fitment and finish wise uh, very dramatic paint on it and beautiful fitment on it um, SS style grill all the windows are nice in it there's no cracks or breaks in any of the grill area uh, the uh, Parking lights are real nice and clear. Bumper fitment is very nice and linear. There's no marks at all on the front of this bumper. Usually there's some scuff marks or imperfections on it. This one absolutely shows none. Panel underneath the front, your front fascia. There's no pull marks or anything on it. Of course, it has a, a standard, uh, which everyone wants, is a front spoiler. This car actually sits up a little bit. It has a little bit more of a dramatic look. It sits up a little bit higher than a conventional uh, uh, Camaro would be. The uh, side marker lights, 350 designation, everything is nice and clean, no uh, uh, patina whatsoever. And again, look at the fitment on this guy, look at this. And the door, the front of the door, I mean, everything on it is fit as precise as you could hope to find. Correct wiper arms and blades, these are argent, these are polished, but they're the correct style blade. Uh, nice, uh, clear painted area on the dash. Uh, the person that uh, replaced this, uh, or did this uh, restoration, decided to paint it uh, hugger orange whenever he did the top of the car. Normally these are uh, flat black. Pad itself on the top of the dash, has no deviations or cracks whatsoever, and a tinted windshield. And I'm gonna call it tinted glass on the side windows also. Paint across the roof, down the sides, everything is just as nice as you'd ever wanna have to find. Wipes whiskers, nice and tight fitment, and look at this, just as nice a fitment, the front window to the quarter glass. Um, does have a pair of mirrors on it too. That's nice. The correct style mirror for 68. 
Uh, again, the door fitment, look, you just can't not get any better than that. Even this, there's usually a little bit of a misalignment on this uh, chrome trim on some of these uh, Camaros. This one has absolutely none. Uh, molded door panels for the premium interior, which is a houndstooth interior, and really dramatic look because it's, uh, it's orange houndstooth, which is uh, kind of a rare combination, an orange car with an orange interior in it, but you got to like orange, and I happen to, so this thing really has a nice dramatic look. The panels, everything on this car is just as fresh and clean, uh, sills, brand new uh, door sills. Uh, up inside the uh, door jam area, just as clean as you could hope to find. Wooden steering wheel in it. The gauge package appears to be the uh, correct style. It has the trimmed out uh, gas brake, clutch, and uh, parking brake cable uh, pedals too. Four speed, as you can see, really a nice, uh, nice dramatic interior. It does not have, from what I can see, any seat belts, front or rear. So we we're going to put seat belts in the front for sure. Nice door fitment, very, very nice fitment. Um, drip rail, there's no marks or no brooms fell against it through the years. The uh, back window, uh, same deal. It, that's a smudge. Um, hat rack has the perforations for the speakers, just the way it would have been from the factory. Way back in the day, a set of rally wheels appear to be seven inch uh, rally wheels with the correct style hats and trim rings on it. Nice set of Cooper Cobra white letter tires on it. And you can see the the stature of the car, the way it sits up just a little bit, gives it real, uh, uh, just a real nice arrogant look to it, you know. Instead of being slammed down where a lot of guys like them, this one's up just a little bit, gives it a nice dramatic look. Okay, going around the tail section of our uh, 68 Camaro, again, look at this. You see them, but you can't feel them. There's a lot of finesse in the uh, uh, paint in this vehicle. Someone's done an incredible job on it. It's nice fitment of the spoiler. Stripes go up the way they should on it. SS designation just like we had in the grill. There's no patina whatsoever around the uh, uh, tail light and backup light surrounds. Uh, rear pan, no pulls, no uh, dents or dinghies, no deviations on it whatsoever. Very dramatic back end and again look at the fitment of that deck. It just can't get any better than that. Trunk area. Uh, splatter painted just the way it would have been. Uh, there's no mat in it. Look at that. There's the original uh, owner's manual for the car. That should be in the glove compartment, but we have it in the trunk. Um, pans appear to be original. Can't really tell. Once we get underneath it, we have a better uh, indication. Nice rubbers uh, on the doors and uh, around the trunk area. Everything is nice and soft and resilient. Someone's done a very nice job of uh, the restoration on this vehicle. Very nice job. The um, Passenger side is going to be just like the driver's side, I'm sure. Forgot to mention, it does have uh, wheel arch uh, moldings on it. Uh, it gives it a nice dramatic look. Uh, going down the side, again, our white whiskers. And a, look at the fitment. I, I'm just overwhelmed by how nicely the, the windows fit in this car, both the uh, uh, front window and uh, quarter glass. There's just no way you could get it to fit any better. And the same thing with our drip mold on both sides, just as fresh and clean. And again, this fitment on this trim on these cars, which was an option, um, usually is deviated. It's off a lot. This one is spot on. You can't make it fit any better than it does. And there's our gap again, just as fresh and clean as you'd hope. And this side's going to be the same as the other side. Devin's going to give you a lot of high-resolution photos of this vehicle inside, too. Has a set of uh, aftermarket gauges hanging underneath the dash here to uh, kind of monitor the engine. And uh, again, the carpeting, the interior, the headliner, everything on this car is just uh, spot on. It's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous car. And we still haven't found any marks on it. <laughs> Amazing. Really nice fitment. Again, our right-hand mirror. Uh, everyone likes to have a right-hand mirror. Again, the fitment look. Look at this. Can you believe that? Single mast antenna, SS designation, Camaro. Uh, I forgot to mention on the other side and on this side, the uh, rocker panel molding. There's no dents or marks on it from heel marks from being uh, kicked through the ears. And we're back where we started again. No marks on the uh, side marker light or our 350 designation on it. This is a really nice car. Uh, this thing, uh, we've been really hitting them right on the money here lately. Uh, uh, Kevin's been giving us some uh, really nice cars to, uh, to market to you. They, um, 
The 68 Camaro, 67, 8, and 9, again, are like the premier uh, cars out there. Everybody seems to want one. And 68 happens to be my favorite because it doesn't have the wing windows, but a lot of guys won't buy one unless it does have the wing windows. So it's just you know diversity on uh, uh, whatever the public wants, whatever that particular individual wants. But this car, you just watched me go around the entire vehicle. I did not find any imperfections in the paint. I did not find any chips or marks or any misalignment on any of the panels, the doors, the deck lid, or the hood. Um, the fitment of the front bumper, back bumper, everything on this car is spot on as far as I'm concerned. That's my estimation on it from going over these cars on a daily basis. Now, someone else may, you know, anticipate uh, something more perfect. This is not a new Porsche or a new Ferrari 488. It's just not. It never will be. It never was. But the fitment on this car is as precise as you could ever hope to find on any 1968 Camaro. Uh, the rally wheels add a lot of dramatic uh, uh, look to it. Uh, it does have a very, very substantial power plant in it to push this guy along. And it's a three-pedal car. So how much more fun can you expect from a car in that color combination? Fantastic looking car, and it's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. So take a look at it, and please come down in person so that you can drive it, and we can take it out and twist it through the gears for you and put it up on a rack and, and show you the car. But if you can't, that's why Devin is going to compile 100 photos or very close to it, plus this video, which is supposed to be 15 minutes now. I'm up to 20-some minutes in them again. Um, but we're trying to show you these cars as well as we possibly can so that you know exactly what you're getting when you buy a car from Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, this is the uh, underside of our 68 orange, orange, orange with white stripes uh, uh, Camaro. Uh, really nice looking car. It is a 350-010 block. Uh, I'm going to call them inch and a half primary tube headers along uh, long length. Three inch collectors going into two and a half inch uh, primary pipes back to the mufflers. The uh, subframes on this car are just as nice. A few superficial marks through the years from being jacked up. You can see a couple little indentures just from jacks through the years. Certainly nothing to compromise its integrity, absolutely nothing. Disc brakes in the front, heavy duty calipers, nice fresh looking rotors, newer backing plates on it. The uh, shocks are also newer in the front, conventional starter on it. <clears throat> no leaks on the motor whatsoever. You can see everything is just nice and clean as can be. Does have a uh, Lakewood style. I don't know the actual manufacturer, but uh, I want to call it a Lakewood style blow shield on it. There's no uh, cover on the front part of it. Allows some uh, air to get in there and help cool the clutch, which is a good thing. Um, the transmission is a uh, appears to be an M21 uh, Muncie. The uh, tranny also has no leaks whatsoever on it tail shaft the same way and where is the speedometer gear which is usually leaking uh, is not also has a parking brake original equipment style hooked up and functional floor pans floor pans appear to be the original floor pans I can't really tell for positive but no they have been replaced this section has been replaced both sides so the uh, car does have new floor pans left and right on it and someone's done an exemplary job in doing it, it uh, uh, fits up to the rocker panels just the way they should, and they almost look factory. Uh, very, very nice job in uh, refabrication underneath this car. Just want you to know that the floor pans have been replaced on the car. Um, <laughs> Subframes in the rear, <clears throat> there's no marks whatsoever on them. Has a multi leaf uh, rear suspension on it. Uh, again, no marks on the subframes at all. Under chassis mufflers, they appear to be a like a turbo style muffler. I don't know exactly the manufacturer, but they appear to be turbo. The uh, nice curvature to these springs, I really like the way they look. They, uh, they have a nice curve to them. A brand new set of, uh, they're blue, so I'm going to call them Monroe shocks, whether they are or not. Um, but they do have a staggered shock rear in it. This one in the front and that one in the rear to compensate for torque uh, uh, bias of this uh, rear differential twisting. The uh, pipes going out the back. Uh, I'm going to call them two and a quarter. Those are two and a half. I'm going to call them. This is two and a quarter. The drop downs just the way they should be on the tailpipes, about about eight, ten, twelve inches uh, behind the rear uh, wheel. Drop downs in the uh, quarter panels appear to be really good. Uh, they actually appear to be original, whether they are or not. You know, sometimes whenever it's so professionally done, it's very hard to. Uh, distinguish between an original one and uh, one that's been professionally done. 10-inch rear, 
Uh, I don't know if it's posy or not. Donnie will have it on a spec sheet whether it is or not. And the gear ratio. We're starting to put that on also for you to give you more information. It's just things that people ask us. What's the ratio and is it a posy rear end? So now you'll be able to look at our website and you'll be able to tell exactly what it is. The gas tank appears, again, hard to tell uh, whether it's original or replacement, but there's not a single imperfection on it. I don't see any marks or dinghies or dents or anything. Absolutely whatsoever on the thing, so um, we'll call it a replacement. Uh, the uh, fuel line has been replaced and it, it has nice curvatures in it the way it should be for a fuel line, not a straight line running. The brake line is also a replacement, so everything underneath this vehicle has been refurbished to as new or better than new uh, condition. And again, you can look at the drive line, at least at this point, there's no leaks in the uh, uh, engine, transmission, bell housing area tail shaft, none of it. You can see it's all its all pretty much uh, leak free. Oil and filter I know was just changed in it. Uh, it's, it's just a nice undercarriage on this vehicle. It's a nice looking car. It has a lot of integrity to it. Uh, um, we're going to see how it runs, but it's, uh, it's a nice car that uh, deserves your consideration here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Okay, this is the interior of our um, orange, orange, orange with white uh, accent uh, 68 Camaro. Uh, wooden wheel in it. Really nice looking wooden wheel. I'm assuming it's a Grant, I'm not really sure, but it does have a tri-spoke just like the, the Corvette style did. Um, horn does not function in the wheel, however, it does work outside. Speedometer, I'm gonna guess, is gonna work. The gas gauge is uh, functioning as it should right now, showing us between a quarter and a half. Left turn signal working uh, the, the way it should. Right turn signal doing its act over here. Um, Wipers, let me see here. Wipers working as they should. Um, have a set of auxiliary gauges underneath the uh, dash. You can see the oil pressure is holding nice and high. Uh, pretty close to uh, 60 pounds, 55 pounds of pressure. The uh, temperature is just starting to rise up to about, uh, what is it, about 150 right now. We just had it running for a few minutes. The uh, fan for the defrost is not working blown fuse or something, I don't know really what it is, but it, it's not functioning at this point. Uh, real nice interior in the car, it has a lot of uh, uh, a lot of restoration done to it. You can see the uh, headliner is really nice and fresh looking. Uh, interior is just absolutely gorgeous. It does not house any seat belts uh, at this point. You know, we're going to have to put a set of front seat belts in it at least for you, but um, it's a nice car. Radio, radio, let's see if it works. We're going to go for a ride, see what this guy runs like. The car tracks very well. I'm trying to zero it in here. There we go. Down the road straight as an arrow. Can't go any better than that. Uh, there's a car behind us, but uh, we're going to try brakes, no hands anyway. He's back here a little ways. He gets upset, he gets upset. Okay, it stops nice and straight, brakes down hands. Tranny shifts real nice and smooth. The car has nice steering response to it. There's no play whatsoever to steering, you can see that. You move the steering wheel just a tiny bit and the car responds just as it should. Speedometer working as it should also. We're going about 60 mile an hour. Of course, you got to remember we're in a 35 mile an hour zone here. Uh, oil pressure holding nice and high, about 55 pounds, close to 60. And uh, water temperature, we're up to about, man, or is it about 160? 160 something. Uh, so it's running nice and cool. Tranny shifts like silk. I mean, just very, very nice, smooth shifting. I'm going to swing around here and we'll give this thing a little shot for you so you can kind of hear what it runs like.
mellow sound to it, but when you lay into it between the uh, unsilenced carburetor and the exhaust, it has a nice muscle car sound to it. And again, the car runs and drives straight as an arrow down the road. It's just a really nice, uh, nice running car. All the gauges function as they should. Uh, the only thing we found that didn't function is the uh, fan for the defroster. That's it. I mean, you can't buy a much nicer car than what we're driving right now. And, uh, <clears throat> Devin's going to give you a bunch of uh, high-resolution photos to take a look at, and uh, I think with uh, the presentation that we give you and the uh, uh, still photographs that you have to look at, you know, you have a lot of information on what exactly the quality of this vehicle is. It's a very high-quality car, uh, especially with the uh, uh, paint and the, uh, the, the appointments that it has. It's a great car, and uh, it's at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. So. Definitely deserves your consideration if you're in a market for a Camaro.